There is a rumor going around that Fallout 4 will be locked at 30 frames a second, even on the PC. And I don't think so. <laughs> Honestly, I think it is just a rumor. I think the statement that uh, Peter Hines gave, which is that they are aiming to get it running at 1080p, 30 frames a second on everything. They were talking, well, he was talking about consoles. I I've not seen any confirmation from Bethesda saying, no, 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 it's, it's 30 frames a second on PC. It's, it's just all rumor. People are talking about it. My guess is they're talking about console. I see no reason why they would lock frame rate on a console. Somebody's going to be typing in for uh, parity between the console. They, they wouldn't do that. That would just be stupid. Uh, they, they, they may try and make textures the same and the general look and feel the same, but they're not going to lock the frame rate on a PC for just to make it as equally unpleasant as it's going to be on the consoles. Sorry. They'd, well, if they do, they're idiots, and they're going to get absolutely crucified. They're going to get mauled. If they've locked a game on the PC so that it, people who've got consoles don't get jealous, they're going to get destroyed by the PC gaming community. They will be the laughing stock. And let's face it, if it can run on a console at 30 frames a second, it will run on a PC, a decent gaming rig, at 60 frames a second, it, that's that's an almost given. You may, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to run at 60 frames a second on every PC. Um, probably you're going to need a good PC. It looks like the Skyrim engine with some enhancements. So if you can run Skyrim with lots of mods, high texture mods, uh, powerful ENB, and still get 60 frames a second, I reckon you'll probably get close to that on Fallout 4. Maybe a little less, I don't know. Uh, but I, I would say in general, if, if, you're, if you're modding Skyrim to the utter limit and getting 60 frames a second, you're probably going to get close to that with Fallout 4. You may have to drop some settings. You may not be able to run the highest textures. Maybe you'll have to tweak a few details. I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the game. That's my best, care, my best uh, guess, essentially. So... But they won't lock it. There's just, there really is, it would be ridiculous. There would be no need to do it. And as I said, they would just bring down, they wouldn't just bring down the wrath of the gaming community, the PC gaming community. They would bring down the ridicule. That's even worse. People would just laugh at them. It was just, you know, they'd be a joke. They really would. And some people are going to argue, well, they did paid for mods and that was a ridiculous idea. No, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't actually a ridiculous idea. The idea itself is perfectly reasonable. It's just an idea we don't like. The, the, the stupidity of Bethesda in that particular case was in thinking they could unveil the system they did and that we would like it and that we would respond positively to it. That was their stupidity. But the idea itself is not inherently stupid. Locking the frame rate at 30 frames a second, that's just insane because it just serves no purpose. There's no reason to do it. I, I, why would you do it? Why would you do it? Think of a reason. Give me a good reason for locking it at 30 frames a second unless they've made an engine that somehow explodes when it hits 31 frames a second or glitches so badly, in which case they're done. They are done. That's it. Fallout 4 is going to get murdered <laughs> by the PC gaming community when it's released. The reviewers will absolutely... Because here's, here's what's going to happen. If they've locked it at 30... A few minutes later, somebody will tell you how to unlock it. There will be a mod, there will be a tweak, there'll be something. It will be unlocked. And if it is found that the engine starts having issues beyond that, they're just, it's it. That's all anyone is going to talk about. So it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They're not going to lock it. They're, they're going to allow you to take, to get whatever FPS you can get with the machine that you have. Now, the question is, does this mean we should expect it to run badly, even on good machines? I mean, I've got an i7 with two 980s in SLI. Should I be able to run this game at 60 frames a second, or should I expect it to run badly? I don't know. Maybe that's what they're prepping us for. Maybe they're prepping us and saying, well, it just might not get 60 frames a second on any modern machine. Maybe that's what... You know, maybe you could interpret it that way. But I, I just, I don't think so. I honestly think they were just thinking of consoles. I really do. I think that comment came out 
was aimed at consoles. Worst case scenario, you'll you'll drop some settings, you'll drop your um, you know textures, view distance, that type of thing. You'll get 60 frames a second. That's my prediction. I can't see me being wrong on this. Um, here's the great thing: if I am wrong on this, no one's going to care because everyone's going to be too busy, you know getting pitchforks and heading off to Bethesda's offices. So I'm pretty safe on this one. Um, yeah, not happening. Sorry about that. Those of you who were really looking forward to drama and, uh, you know, Framageddon, frame, -ag frame rate gate, FPS gate, I don't know, whatever you call it. Uh, not going to happen. It's going to be uncapped. It will run just fine on a PC. And my guess is... It will run 60 frames a second on decent settings on most good gaming rigs. That's my prediction. Feel free to discuss it down below in the comments section. Try to be polite, try to be constructive, and try not to go on about how the sky is falling in and it's the end of gaming as we know it. Again. Um, and please try and avoid the whole, oh my god, the human eye can't see over 30 frames a second thing. That's absolutely infuriating. You were proven wrong about, I don't know, well, like 50 years ago. And you're still wrong now. You're not getting any less wrong with time. In fact, I, I'd say, realistically speaking, you're not just getting more wrong. You're actually getting more silly. Sillier. Yes, that's how you say more silly, isn't it? Yes, I don't care. You're more silly. More wrong and more silly. Stop it. It's wrong and silly. Don't be wrong and silly. That's a new meme. There you go. You're welcome. Um, and uh, apart from that, thank you for listening. <laughs>